Well, after waiting a month and a half, I finally received my MeCool M8S Pro Plus Android S905X box. Um, like I say, I've been waiting a month and a half. It was kind of a snuffler there, but anyway, I finally received it. And this is a $38 Android box, but what's different about this particular box, it's got built-in, um, let me show you. The Google Wi-Fi modular DRM is supported, and it's got an L1 security level. Uh, it's also got HDCP level, HC, HDCP. What all this means is these boxes now are capable of playing streaming uh, apps in HD, high definition. In other words, uh, Netflix now, all the previous Android boxes except for the NVIDIA Shield or Zombie Me or the uh, Nexus Play or something like that were officially Android boxes with the, using the Android TV OS. Uh, anyway, uh, this one has been ported to uh, the Android TV OS, or sometimes they call it ATV, as an acronym for Android TV, a special version of Android. But anyway, this is a port from Mag and Dan's, and it works really well. So I was curious to find out if indeed it really played Netflix in the, uh, 1080p, which everybody says no way. So again, this is out, I've, out of the last four years that I've been buying these Android boxes, and they're getting better each uh, each time. Every every time they come out with a different one, they're getting better and better. So anyway, let's find out. This is L pointy. Now, if you notice, right now it starts out at 560 kbps, kilobytes per second. The resolution 640 by 480. That's the old VCR tape resolution. And it takes a little few seconds, half a minute, to get up to full HD. Right now it's 750, and it's in the top right hand corner now, 3,000 kilobits per second, and that is 720 uh, HD. Okay, right now it is up to 1920, and it's up now it's up to 5,800 kilobytes per second. So, yes, this is a standard stock. Uh, Netflix that I got straight from the Google Play Store. So there's nothing special, it's not been modified or nothing. So this is just a plain uh, Netflix app that got uh, came from the uh, Play Store. So uh, now you got live channels. It comes with live channels because this is Android 7.1 Nougat. It comes with live. This year, 20 million seniors will need help due to a uh, everything plays in Dolby Digital. Now Netflix is played in Dolby Digital Plus, so it does give you Dolby Digital. Um, this also gives you Dolby Digital. Live channels. Now what I'm doing, I'm streaming uh, TV from an antenna on the roof through my HD Home Run tuners uh, to this box through the Ethernet. All my devices are connected through Ethernet. But again, uh, this plays this very well. Number of vehicle attacks in recent months, Lisa. We don't know what this is. Is this the thing on edge for things like that? Well, now, this guy here is native to this Android TV OS. There's nothing special about this particular app right here. Okay, now you got HD Home Run. This is another app. Again, these were running flawlessly on these uh, Amlogic boxes, but they can handle uh, the MPEG TF streams and also MP4 streams, so, and uh, DNA, so they can handle the DNA racing very well. I also purchased a uh, Nexus player a couple days ago because it was on sale for 50 bucks, and I don't know why I bought it because I bought one for $25 Nexus player a couple years ago. I forgot how bad it was. But anyway, uh, this is far superior to those $50 Nexus player, and again, this only costs $38. The live TV is just fantastic on it. Uh, 4.1. 
Now this is a 1080p channel, excuse me, 1080i channel interlaced. Oh, they made a series of big mistakes. Uh, true way to tell is on a, a live sports, but again, it, it plays flawlessly. That caused their SUV to blow up. Okay, so we got that. Now, one other thing that now YouTube, it plays in 4K on this device. Okay, it's 4K. Uh, that's 8K. Patagonia. Patagonia. Now, this is nerds. Information for nerds. Now, if you look, the dimension is 1920 by 1080. That is the dimension of my TV screen. The resolution is 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second, not 60 frames per second. Optimal re resolution is 34, 3840 by 2160. So that is 4K resolution. Okay, now this one, again, is 4K resolution, it's 25 frames per second, or probably 23.444, or whatever they call it, but, uh, and it is, it's encoded in a VP9, whatever that means, but that's some kind of different codec, a lot of these, one of these boxes will not even play the VP9, this one does, so, uh, again, it plays it very, very well. So anyway, I just want to show you that. So these boxes have come a long, long ways. But again, this box here was only $38. Now there is some liability here. Liabilities on it because it does not have Bluetooth built in. And also, it does not uh, have 5G uh, Ethernet or AC Ethernet, or excuse me, uh, Wi-Fi. But all my boxes are connected through... Um, Ethernet. So if you notice, it's only uh, 2.4. It doesn't have uh, G band or the AC band. So it's not going to be a very good player for people that depend on Wi Fi only. But again, all my devices are. And then Cody, if I play Cody, there again, I get HD audio from this. There's no uh, special things you have to do to it to get HD audio. It gives you HD audio. So. Again, this is a standard ATV uh, Google Play Store. Now, this box will be a great device for people who want to shave the card because you got Sling TV. Uh, I think it's about twenty dollars a month as long as you've got an HD Home Run tuner. You got live channels. You got the HD Home Run app, and you also got MB app. Now this one is not that good when it comes to live TV. It works, it plays well, but the only problem is it's slow to change the channels or tune the channels. Uh, it may get better as time progresses, I don't know. Now there again, Gilligan's Island, free TV, coming off the antenna. Everybody has to watch Gilligan's Island, but maybe that's because I'm old, I don't know. Uh, some people, well, I don't like watching uh, standard definition. I like watching HD channels. Well, I prefer these old shows that are only in the standard definition. So here's the one little guy. This is what it looks like. Or, if you want to channel surf, uh, this one, this is great for channel surfers. My son was a horrible channel surfer. I'd sit here and watch a movie with him sometimes when he was younger. That's been 20 years ago. But anyway, he loved to channel surf. It drive me nuts. This way he could channel surf and it wouldn't even affect me one bit. I could sit there and watch the movie. So anyway, uh, for channel surfers, this would work great. Now, this, I get a lot of these channels here that are uh, showing up on the bottom because I'm using my HD Home Run tuners. Uh, since I have one of the older tuners, it cannot get... And I cannot mask these out. The newer tuner I can, so these won't even show up. 
So that's a, a failure of me using old hardware on these uh, devices. So again, uh, let's see, a little house on the prairie. It's been years since I've watched that. And again, like I say, it takes a few seconds for it to uh, actually tune to the channel and start playing. It's there. But once it starts playing, it's playing very well. And it, of course, it takes a minute to pause. Um, it's buffering on the back end. So there's no pause and play and all that. But anyway, as far as live TV, it's got its failures on that. But as far as the other parts of um, the movies themselves, again, these movies have belonged to me. Uh, I've taken the stacks of movies that I bought throughout the years. Most of them are DVDs, a few Blu-rays, but most of them are DVDs that I've ripped and put the DVDs back in their stock. But anyway, uh, this is slick here. It's got a lot of good eye candy. You go to the character, Mel Gibson. Trailers. Out for Justice. More like it. Anyway, this is for people like me that have a hard time deciding what to watch. Mel Gibson. It gives you a little bit of history about Mel Gibson. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. All right, thank you much. Okay, as I was saying, the Mel Gibson, uh, it gives you the information of, of him. And movies, these are all the movies that he is in. Now, if he was in any, uh, any TV shows, it would show him there. I'm trying to find one that's in TV shows, but apparently he's not in any TV shows. But some of these actors in some of these old movies, they're in a lot of the uh, old TV shows. Uh, character actors, I guess they call them. Anyway, this is a sleek, slick little uh, uh, program. This Emmy, it is slick. Especially if you've got your own movies that are ripped. Uh, it does everything. So I guess that's what I wanted to show you. But, you know, again, it's got that DRM. It's got the uh, Google Level 1, Security Level 1. And that's what... Uh, what gives it the ability to stream in HD for Netflix and I do not use Amazon video but I think it's on here in the Play Store I'm not really sure because I don't use it but anyway that's what it's all about all right thank you very much